hey guys welcome back to medit academy so today i'm going to show you how to do this spotlight effect using photoshop this spotlight effect has been trending all over social media and i'm going to show you how to do it so basically the actual concept of doing this spotlight effect is using a light note which you can get from flossy gear who's the sponsor of this video and also doing an african day promotion i'll put his flyers on the screen and his link in the description below if you want to check out his catalog he has amazing prices and i get his, most of my gear from him so go check him out guys okay back to the video so you need a snoot so if you're like me and you don't have a light snoot what do you do so let's get to the video so so this is what you do you create a new layer a blank layer you just click plus here then you create a blank layer create a circle where you want the effect to be you say you want the effect to be like over here just do a circle there okay so you press the space bar to easily move around your your circle uh left click in the space bar you can move around your circle and you can put it where you want if you want it here and just leave it there then place the right click and say select inverse then press the right click again and press fill then color then choose the color black then press okay 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 so what you want to do is reduce the opacity like this press uh command d on airport to remove the selection Control d on windows to remove the selection so what you want to do is you can see that our set was too sharp and looks way too artificial we're gonna go to filter blur gaussian blur and increase the opacity to your liking. I think this, I think this is fine. Okay. Okay, we done this part, but still, it doesn't look really realistic because you need sort of a shadow from, uh, which is coming from the light we are creating. We have to create a shadow so that really looks realistic. So this is what you do. This is the part which most people don't know how to do. So. You click this layer plus there are two of them, then go back to the background layer, click plus, create a blank blank layer between the two between the background copy and the background. You need to pick a, a blank layer and go to selection, select, select subject. Guys, I advise you to update your photoshops to make it easier for you to do these things. Okay, after you've done your selection, done you did subject selection. Go to the masking tool let's click it that's fine we did the uh, masking on the top layer the background copy this is the one we did uh the masking so once again go to the first layer to selection then subject go to the middle blank layer and say right click fill then color then black in the middle layer you do the selection in the background layer then you go on the empty layer then fill that empty layer so let's turn off this uh two layers you get something like this this is our shadow you create a shadow so we have to move the shadow up a bit where's the okay Let's, let's move the shadow up a bit okay let's transform it a bit bigger go to edit free transform to make it a bit bigger okay that's fine and that's fine so what you want to do uh, press ctrl d to deselect the selection command d on mac to do a deselection of the of the selection then turn on this layer okay you see we got a shadow so you just control it the way you want okay let's put the top shadow just control it sorry i've selected two layers I want to control the shadow area only okay okay like this we've made a shadow so again take the the rounded two Ah, before that 
I'll go to filter, selecting the, the one which was empty, our shadow layer. Let's name it shadow for easy identification. Shadow. Let's name it shadow. So what you want to go is go to filter, blur, gash and blur. So that our shadow doesn't look too fake. Okay. Uh, I think that's okay. And you also want to reduce the opacity. Be, uh, the light is like the other side. I think it must be something like this. Like this. Okay. I think that's okay. Let's reduce the opposite again. Oh, something like that. Okay. So, what's the next stage? The next stage, you want to take the round tool again. Go over the round and click the masking tool. It will cut off at the half of the shadow. Before you deselect, here yeah, just go to filter, play, cash and play. We want to move this transition to us here. Let me show you. It was too sharp, so we go to filter, play, then cash and play. It will soften up the edge. As you can see, it's no longer that harsh. So you want to rub off those hands to make it more realistic. Let's just. No, right, this layer. Okay, let's take the eraser to raise the eraser to over here. Okay, let's erase this part like that. See, make sure that your brush is hardness is on zero so then you won't make sharp, like rough, rough. Uh, let me show you what I'm trying to say. When your brush is like 100% sharpness, you see, it doesn't look realistic. So make sure that your brush is on zero so that you make this beautiful cuts. Like that. I think we are doing a really good job. So I just reduce the opposite again. Again, again. Huh. I don't know what you think guys, I think you did an amazing job. Oh, you can match the layers when you're done. Tell me what you think. Basically, that's how I do it. So, now you know the concept, so you can do your own stuff to it. Uh, create it however you want, be creative with it. This is how I do it. To make it more realistic, this is how I do it. So do yours, uh, I'll, say, I'll put the link to my WhatsApp. Uh, when you do yours, you just send me and show me how you did it. Be creative with this guys. Um, thank you for watching again. Please subscribe and like to my YouTube channel. Thank you for the support. We are moving really good. Uh, we are now at uh, 136 subscribers. It's only been a week, two weeks in fact, and we are doing really good. Thank you.